Hey, hey, everybody. <clears throat> so, this is the PS3i, which is the webcam for the PS3. Triple monitor setup using AMD Affinity Group. And I'm going to alt tab out of this. Face track no IR, which is the webcam detection for face tracking for, uh, uh, well, I guess head tracking your movements in game. Um, not have does not have a huge compatibility list. Mostly just uh, VR and simulation -y games, and only like 500 or so. But Elite is on the list, and that's good enough for me right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start face tracking, and it's detected my face. It thinks I'm at a very oblique angle right now. So let's <coughs> get comfortable, <coughs> and then reset the camera. So that's centered. Uh, looks like the portrait up here is displaying correctly. Excellent. All right. Back in daily. Controller, and let's do this thing. So, I look to the left. It looks to the left. I look to the right. It looks to the right. Up. Around. Wow, this is just trippy. And then I look down, of course, at my controls. This is uh, actually the hardest motion so far because there's a very specific angle you need to actually look at, or a very specific location you need to catch. And I'm having a hard time doing it with the camera in this position. There we go. It's a little bit left of where it looks like it's supposed to be. Arm house out station. Cool. Um, I just got back from a raid, so I'm going to launch and immediately head out towards the combat zone, uh, so you can see this baby in action. But yeah, that's the face track right there, and it's, it's, admittedly, it's not as smooth, it's not like buttermilk smooth or anything, it's a little choppy, but it's still really solid overall. Um, <clears throat> considering the price of half a webcam, it's fantastic. Probably be careful not to crash on my way out. And we're out. All right, awesome. Back to the landing right here. It's actually really weird for me because I normally wear headphones when I play these games, so... Oh, right. Can't look. <laughs> Doing that totally mess with the camera. Alright, we are free of the station's lock. Let's go to... Yeah, I feel lucky. Let's go to the low intensity combat. Frameship drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. And like I mentioned, being able to look around really, it, it, it doesn't look as impressive IMO on the screen as it feels in real life. Because you really are just browsing and, and the world is responding to your browsing. As opposed, there, there, uh, Part of the reason why the control, why, why looking at the jump screen below is, is frustrating is because it, it's the only unnatural motion. I'm not trying to look at a panel inside my cockpit, I'm trying to line my head up with a, a target. But other than that, yeah, I've had, I've had a really good time with this so far. I haven't taken the time to set up bezel and bezel correction. Oh, don't think your nose will playing, I guess. Uh, meaning the crossover between the monitors, uh, where there's technically a gap in the screen, you can set up settings such that that gets emulated in or emulated out uh, to correct for the bezels in between. That being said, I haven't really felt the need. Uh, I use the lateral screens for peripheral vision mostly. Um, which it provides quite nicely. Got my axis. And just keep heading towards the comfort zone. 
the one thing all space games have in common, you will spend a lot of time waiting. Extraction, but no, I want to kill shit. Conflict it is. Honestly, the best place to see the beauty of these settlers. Now, I've set up a hotkey, shift home, to recenter the camera. So, whenever you know I've realized my body posture has shifted somewhat or I'm leaning back in my chair more than I was before, uh, it's worth just tapping that to get it to recenter. And it didn't take very long to get this setup going. There was like a six-step uh, instructions website that I followed. And the much harder part was getting the camera to register my face correctly, because that took a, a little bit of finicking around with the camera's position and the lighting. But once, once that worked... Alright, conflict zone. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't think it does. But it does make combat more fun and engaging for me. Which is half the point of playing the game, right? Just have fun. You know, I believe there's a way to fire a add-on, uh, sorry, an internal module or something, 
or component that auto drops heat by a bunch. For increasing my DPS, that would be very satisfying, very useful, a very useful addition. Ah! Breaks out, boosters, and he's back in. nice to have a weapon that didn't require heat as well, so that, or energy as well, so that I could have a cooldown weapon and a uh, non-cooldown weapon. And that would be my projectile weapon. But man, just look at him melt. Alright, I am being chased by a series of ships. I am looking at the radar and realizing I'm very much alone. I would like to grab this guy and run, but if I can't, I'm not gonna die trying. Nope, no, no, I'm being blasted to shit. Let's boost engines and make a break for it. These allies came in. Did a good job helping him. It figuratively kills me to say this, but it will literally kill me to to get engaged with those three again. Tempted as I am to do so. Nope, they're still firing on me. I was considering turning around and firing on the but no. Boost away. Just boost away. breaking off pursuit, but I don't know for sure. My shields recharge a little bit more. Where's the conflict zone? I'm like keeping a very close eye on the radar. No, they're still they're still tailing me pretty hard. I best just leave the zone and re-enter it. That sucks. Six percent. Still, dying costs way more than he's worth. Let us get back into the system. Ooh, unidentified signal source. I can't say no to those, can I? 77% all is plenty of people to work with. There's an allied ship and no sign of anything else. Presumably system security has a man, so we're done with him. Or had a man and then we're done with him. Yeah, it looks like more the latter than the former. Alright, back into jump space. Actually, you know what? For the purposes of a here's how it works video, I think that's sufficient. I'm going to exit to the main menu. Uh, but uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time.